Remove acrylic blocks. Loosen and remove the acrylic block baffles fixed on the aluminum profile. Gantry assembly. Use the spacer template tool to adjust the spacing of the nuts on both sides of the Y-axis aluminum profile. Use spacer template tool to adjust the gantry position, then use M620 socket head, cap bolt and washers to fix the gantry on the nuts on both sides of the Y-axis base. See axis assembly. Use M514 socket head cap bolt to fix this axis assembly on the gantry. Align the upper row of nuts, tighten the screws not completely, and lower the Z axis module. Align the lower row of nuts, tighten the M514 socket head cap bolts not completely, and lower the Z axis module. Insert the spacer template tool into the Z-axis assembly, adjust the final height of the Z-axis, and fully tighten all screws. Trimmer Holder Assembly Fix two M520 to socket head cap bolts, M5 washers and M5 nuts to the trimmer router holder. Then use M618 hex head bolts and M6 washers to fix the trimmer holder to the Z-axis slider. Trimmer Router Assembly Insert the trimmer into the holder, then tighten the M520 to socket head cap bolts. Drag Chain Bracket Assembly Use two M520 button head bolts to fix the drag chain bracket on the Z-axis assembly. Drag Chain Assembly Pass two M38 button head bolts through the drag chain, then screw on the M3T nuts. Not fully tightened, and fix one end of the drag chain on the aluminum profile. The other end of the drag chain is fixed to the drag chain bracket with two M38 button head bolts. Wiring Use a screwdriver to pry open the first section of the drag chain. Use a screwdriver to insert the drag chain buckle as far as possible and then pry it open.
Pass the trimmer cable, see axis limit switch cable, and see axis stepper cable through the drag chain, then press all the buckles to restore. Reinsert the chain into the first section. Connect the Z-axis stepper motor cable and trimmer router cable and organize the cables. Use M38 button head bolt to fix cable clips to the drag chain bracket, then use zip TIs to secure the trimmer router cable. Connect the X-axis and Y-axis motor cables. Use zip TIs to bundle the trimmer router cable, limit switch cables, and stepper motor cable and wrap them with cable wrap. Use an Allen wrench to loosen the six PCS screws on the control box and remove the control box cover. Pass the Z probe cable through the cable hole and plug it into the yellow socket. Then pass the limit switch cable and stepper motor cable through the cable hole. Insert the trimmer router cable into the spindle socket.
Plug the limit switch cable and stepper motor cable into the sockets on the control board. X to black, Y to green, Z to red. Resecure the control box cover. Install and tighten the antenna.